to a story you'll see only on KXOI 4. Spokane has rallied around her to help save her life, and now she needs the community's help again. Four years ago, the Cure for Cat campaign helped Cat Davis pay for a transplant that doctors believed would save her life. But Cat relapsed and now needs another transplant. KXOI 4's Drew Reeves spoke with Cat today in a story you'll see first on KXOI 4. And Drew, she told you that now she sees Cure for Cat is something bigger than herself? Yeah, Nadine, while this transplant is needed to potentially save Cat's life, it could also be a groundbreaking procedure for people suffering from scleroderma. My gut feeling is that if this doesn't happen, she might have a year at best. Living with scleroderma every day is a fight for survival for Kat Davis. Right now, I'm alive, but I'm not living. I want more for myself, and I want more for everyone else who struggles with scleroderma. The 29-year-old has spent most of her adult life raising awareness for the disease, which hardens the skin and internal organs. It all began with the diagnosis, which sparked the Cure for Cat campaign. The Spokane community raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for a stem cell transplant that helped Kat keep the disease at bay until it didn't. We had such high hopes for the first transplant and now that she's relapsed from them we have to face the fact that we have to do this all over again. Now it's time for Kat to fight again this time going through a transplant using her brother's stem cells. This time though the chance of death for Kat somewhere around 50 percent. I want to fight for those who have died and because of everything that's happened to me the last couple years because of scleroderma I'm at the point where I'm ready to take that risk. She's launching Cure for Cat round two. It began with the campaign video released yesterday. I never know what I'm going to find when I go down to check on her. She could be dead. Kat hopes the second time through this she can provide hope for everyone who fights to survive each day. She would be the first person with scleroderma to receive a second groundbreaking transplant. So yesterday on Wednesday we launched the second Cure for Cat campaign and it's been awesome and the main thing I want people to understand is it is so much different than the first campaign. On March 18th, Cat will hold a benefit concert at the service station as a kickoff fundraiser. She says there are also a few more events in the works to be announced soon. Spokane is an incredible community and we can do this together and I know in the end together we are better and we're going to make a difference. And if you would like more information on the benefit concert and how you can donate, just head to our website, kxoy.com. We've linked the Cure for Cat website there. Just look for the news link section at the bottom of the screen. And Nadine, mm -hmm. you and I both know Cat. And yeah. if there's anybody who deserves this more, I don't I don't know of anyone. Well, and you know, I mean, she is so inspiring. It, as difficult as it must be to go through what she is going through. Most people had not even heard, heard of this disease right. before. So she's opened up the eyes of so many people, but really her courage, I think, is what is so contagious. Right. And, and this so groundbreaking right. medical procedure yeah. could potentially help thousands of others. So, All right. Well, we're pulling for you, Kat. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep you updated, too, on how she's doing. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Drew. Mm -hmm. well,